Get you in frame. Oh, oh, what a treat you are, Anita. So the, the war on women, and yeah, it, it might be more... Oh, sweet tap dancing Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, oh this is going to be difficult to get through. Uh, it might be more fair, fair to say that it's a war on both sexes, but with all this gender-bending stuff, women are going to get the short end of the stick because with sports and scholarships, they're going to get screwed, which is, is okay because college is a waste of time for women anyway. No offense. But more importantly, with the bathroom stuff, it's women who are going to be the victims of violent crime and struggle snuggles by mentally ill people. OMG, boys can be girls. Except we know that they can't. That's why they have different names, because words refer to different concepts. I hear other channels talking about the boob armor thing. Now, those are excellent channels, but they're also pussies, which if you have a big YouTube channel, you're a pussy. You have to be. Non-pussy channels get kicked off. YouTube is not YouTube anymore. It's Google Tube. It's completely soy these days, and it's getting worse. The thing these pussy channels don't mention is that the crux of the issue is that the concept of women in the military is what is making the whole thing so ridiculous. If you wonder why their videos don't get many views, this is why. Yes, boob armor is stupid, of course, but women don't wear armor in the first place because women haven't historically done the fighting. Because women are the carriers of the next generation. Only women can carry a child. And then you combine that with the... Oh, I don't want to watch this. Combine that with the physical... Di Sweet Jesus. Physical differences, you realize why... Oh. Okay. This is going to be a challenge. Why women don't go to... Okay, so when you've got chicks in fighting roles, it feels off. It violates the willing suspension of disbelief. You know, it's funny to think that MASH wouldn't be politically correct these days. I'll leave it at that. Alan Alda. God, he was soy. I always joke about feminism, but women are more biologically valuable to the tribe than men. So arguing about titty armor is missing the point points. And more importantly, it's conceding the argument before you ever argued it. We're arguing armor, but we skipped over the silliness of women in fighting roles. There are a few things going on here. The Anita Sarkeesian aspect is the least important. She is totally harmless now. Her time has passed. There was a big chunk of SGW as large atheists who were big pre-2016, but then post-Trump, it's like people came to the realization that it was okay to just call these people uh, um, uh, developmentally disabled cigarettes. Your argument might be great, but if you come across like an insane person, please look at the screen, nobody is going to listen to you. Uh, Anita was PMSing about video games that she clearly has never played. After a few years, people figured out that she's just a crazy cat lady grifter. Her power now is totally gone. People subscribe to her on Twitter just so they can roast her. She's got a YouTube channel. Nobody watches it. Probably, be, and I mean, when you consider it's a big YouTube channel, it's she's a war, you know, very, very famous name. And she's getting very, very few views. Um, and she turned off comments, which is pretty common with these commie shrews. They don't want discourse. They want a lecture to you, the lowly, groveling peasants. But every video has more downvotes. It's it's not even a video, it's a podcast. Or her later episodes are podcasts because she's too lazy to put on her makeup and put on a show. The funny thing is, there's a dude on the show who's the most entertaining character because women aren't funny. One of Antifa's most Antifa, Anita's most viewed videos is where she talks about Kanye West's uh, monster music video. I never saw it. Her audio has an echo. She is constantly raising money to save feminist frequency, but she's recording the audio with a cheap cell phone in a closet. She is a weird duck, but she has managed to support her cocaine and whore habit by grifting, so got to respect her for that. And people will do this thing on social media where they try to talk, either like a combination from, like they're from the hood or they're folksy, and they'll do this... They'll do this kind of ghetto speak. It's so patronizing and cringy. I, I, Anita has money. She came from money. She's not from the hood. 
Uh, she doesn't care about boob armor, but she really wants to get hired as a sensitivity consultant for shows or video games. But people caring about feminism peaked, I don't know, maybe 2014. Now it's just ignored. Now Anita is almost 40, single and childless. Oh, I won't say the next part. It's going to, I just hope somebody saves the cats when the inevitable happens and the newspapers start piling up too far. It's going to be an interesting type of feminist movement when it's led by biological men with long hair. Only when we kick out the women can we have true equality. It feels like America is waiting for somebody to step up and say, hey, this LGBT feminist drag kids, it's all cancer, isn't it? Maybe we should investigate who's behind it. Where's the money coming from? What is the logical conclusion of their movement? Re-education, happy camps for wrong thinkers? What if I think all this stuff is for fruity Bolshevik parasites? Am I free to express that diversity of thought? Or will you dox me, get me fired, and destroy my life? Well, we know the answer to that. Here's the awkward thing about feminism. They're caught in a catch-69. If they want to get eyeballs, they need a beautiful woman as their mouthpiece. But they believe beauty supports the patriarchy. I thank God for my natural good looks. So they use people who are not conventionally attractive, so nobody watches their videos. It's even weirder now because more and more men are taking charge. Because if you exclude them, you're a TERF. And being a TERF is worse than a Nazi because TERFs actually exist. Now that I think about it, I think feminists for, sort of went up its own ass with wokeness because wokeness isn't a goal, it's a journey. They keep getting more woke to the point that the only people allowed to speak in meetings are black Irish men who wear lipstick and identify as dyslexic fecal filiacs, which is sort of odd when you assume that feminism was started to protect women. It's okay to put your foot down and say, not every group is for everybody. It's okay to have an identity that is exclusive of other people. People have been so brainwashed by the media that they're willing to have men in the ladies' locker because they don't want to get called an alt-right Nazi. There is no alt-right in America. There are very real threats, but that isn't one of them. It's a straw man used as a cause of war. I forgot how to pronounce the Latin for that. Um, in their F the White Devil agenda. It's something like Causus Belly, but I didn't want to mispronounce it, which I think I just did. It seems like wokeness got so is extreme that it's a parody of itself. You've got blue-haired adult children breaking store windows and beating up the elderly who think that they're fighting the man, except that their mayors, city council, and governors are globalists. So who are they rebelling against? The small business owner, their alcoholic mom, and their dad, who they probably never met. And I don't really care if liberal cities get destroyed by Antifa and BLM. They believe diversity is their strength. Well, there you go. How are you enjoying that diversity? I just hope that it gets bad enough that the other hippies, the older hippies, will wake up to the golem that they set loose. Okay, let me uh, fluff out this video by reading her stupid tweets. Oh, here's her, here's her kind of get at Ebonics, um, folksy, folksy speak. She doesn't get too far with it, because then someone will call her out. But, but for real, we already did this. Huh? These grown-ass children get so emotional, and th this is just black speak. This is embarrassing. Get so emotional and throw these embarrassing, t this is cringe. Oh my God. I'll, I'll read it straight. These grown-ass children get so emotional and throw these embarrassing temper tantrums when a woman has even the slightest critique on the mainstream. See, she, even that phrase, on the mainstream, is uh, a little ebonic speak there. She, her natural speaking, would say, of the mainstream. She doesn't speak like this. This is, this is a put-on uh, syntax. This is completely fake. Corporate media, they feel ownership over. They keep trying to gatekeep. Is that one word? I don't know. The most popular franchise in the world. Star Wars is for men. Get over it. Sorry to burst your bubble. Comma, but the jig is up, comma, y'all, uh, oh, full body cringe, I know cringe is overused, it just means secondhand embarrassment, but when you see this and you read it aloud, it's just so freaking lame, Star Wars isn't some niche exclusive tree club, where you hang up a no girls allowed sign, it would be better if you did, 
Just saying it. Just I don't mean to be offensive, but it would be better if it was a, a no girls allowed sign. Girls should be the princess that gets rescued. I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. I'm just saying what 90% of you are thinking. And dictate the terms of the discourse. See, now you slipped into your college speak. It was... It never was, and that is not changing anytime soon. She has an odd... She's kind of skipping... She has a um, sophisticated vocabulary, but she's skipping the commas. I think she's doing that on purpose. Uh, anyway, I got to 10 minutes, so I'm good. Um, she gets roasted in the comments. She gets uh, she gets ratioed on the tweets. Ratioed means she's got 800 likes, but 930 comments, which means people are giving her feedback. And on some tweets, she'll turn off the comments. So uh, Mark Passwaters says... Probably American Indian. So far, the only person throwing a hissy fit is you. Person who puts out bad takes on a public platform for all to see is very mad about the public responding to those bad takes. Oh, oh Anita. Oh, Anita Sarkeesian. Your time has come and gone, and I don't understand the eyebrows. Why would you do that to an otherwise attractive face? L- just leave your own eyebrows. They're fine. Your own hair is fine. It's better to have... I was going to say I have too much hair than too little hair, but maybe that can be misconstrued. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on BitChute when I inevitably get kicked off of YouTube.